I grew up in a pretty broken home um, at an early age. Um, I understood that my parents made really reckless decisions. Fast forward to age seven, um, my dad died suddenly. And at that point, my mom was just too consumed with her own grief to take care of me. Um, so from there, I was placed into different homes of um, relatives, some I knew, some I didn't. And um, finally, um, after switching school several times, um, I was then brought in to stay with a friend of the family in upstate New York, um, a family named the Blashes. When I got there, I just instantly felt like I was loved and at home. Um, it was a really different life for me. I was brought to church. It's when I first really heard my first um, Christmas carols and went to Sunday school and just felt like I was accepted and loved. Um, but I still had a relationship with my mother um, and I still, like everyone else my age, still yearned to be with her and have her in my life and for her to just love and accept me and to care for me. My mom was, um, shortly after my dad passed, she was then incarcerated. Um, you know, I had this family that loved me and then I had my mom and it was just a constant struggle to keep up with one relationship and then have my mom in my life too. And to me, that was all things. That was where I found my worth and my value was my mother. Um, so my junior year of high school is when I decided that I would want to spend my last year in high school with my mom and my sister. Um, and right around that time is when my mom relapsed. And I was absolutely crushed. And all these years, what I wanted so much and what I prayed to God for was just to have my mom back. And it really angered me and crushed me and left me really confused. I'd often see God as a, a wish granter. And I thought, um, especially when I first moved away from my mom, I thought, if I do certain things and I prove myself to this God, that my mom would be healed of her drug addiction and would want me back. Um, so it's almost as though I had to prove myself and my worth in order to get the things in life that I value the most. I found myself hanging around people that didn't have the same values that I was raised with and I was just so frustrated with what God was doing in my life that I just decided to abandon everything. When I got to Hoboken, I was um, finding my worth in going out, meeting new people, um, drinking constantly, almost as much as I did in college. Um, and it was one night that I was at a party that I met um, someone that um, I had actually offered a drink to because I was showing up late and wanted someone else to drink with. And he said, you know, I'm good. I, uh, I actually have to be up early tomorrow. And, you know, to me, it was my weekend. So I wanted to know why someone would get up early on a Sunday. And um, his exact words were, you know, I'm actually going to church, but thank you for offering. And um, I kind of saw that as a challenge. And I said, you know, I used to go to church. Um, so that's cool. I, I could totally go too. Sure enough, you know, a couple of weeks later, I finally got the courage to reach out to him and to go. And um, so I went to Hoboken Grace um, and I was just blown away right when I got there by how welcoming everyone was. Um, but it really wasn't until I had been going to Hoboken Grace and was involved and just challenged to take the next step of faith constantly in my relationship with God that I really start to understand what my meaning for it was um, and why he put me on this earth. It wasn't to try and get someone to 
be sober. It wasn't to get the acceptance of my mother or to prove to her that I chose a different lifestyle than her after all. Um, it was really just to know that he loves me no matter what and no matter the broken decisions that I've made that he still uses me for good. When I think about my life now and my relationship with my mom, um, I have nothing but hope um, and just joy in all my relationships now, but especially with my mom because I see how much change she's brought into both of our lives and I no longer carry around this pain and anger, but just love for the love that he's shown me. To me, Jesus is the ultimate healer. He's capable of healing anyone and of using anything and everything with someone, no matter how broken they feel, no matter what they've done. Um, he's able to take all of their imperfections away and love them for who they are no matter what.